Hey folks, it's Bishop Heels from the ECF Forums. How are you guys doing today? I got something to show you today. Um, this is the Slinger. Now, a lot of folks has mentioned to me, they said, Bish, is there a way to do dual coils on the iHybrids? And I said, you know what? It doesn't have a second uh, mesh hole, but you know what? Yeah, you can. Absolutely, for sure. So, that's what I actually did on here. I created uh, dual coils right on this iHybrid. No modification needed, no drilling needed, nothing at all. Forget about it. This is the way I did it. Let's see if you can see that. You see that? One mesh, and I'm running dual coils on that mesh. Let me uh, zoom it in for you. See that? Let me uh, adjust it a little bit. There you go. You see that? Okay. Now, each coil, each wrap is two layers. Okay. Um, I have here uh, one, two, three, four. It's three and four wraps. Uh, so it's really um, six to eight. Okay. You got about six to eight wrappings there in total. But I'm using two wires that are joined together, okay, to create dual coils, okay? And I'm going to ohm it out to show you, okay? I'm pretty much running about 0.3 ohms. That's what I'm running on here, okay, on 28 gauge. Um, that's what I'm actually using, and I'm going to show you. Okay, we got the multimeter out. And Device keeps moving. Hold on. So it says point four. Point four minus it's on uh, auto. See, minus one for internal resistance. So we're at 0.3 ohms, okay, for dual coils. And this baby fires up tremendously. And right here hits like a freight train, that's for sure. At 0.3 ohms, that's pretty much what I do on my um, Doc Dave's team turbine. Mm. Now, you don't have to create a 0.3 ohms dual coil. That could be a little too warm for you. You know, except for the enthusiastic vapors, of course. But, you know, um, you can use 30 gauge or you can even use ribbon wire to do to accomplish the same exact thing what i'm going to do is i was thinking about making a video on how to create these dual coils and i said you know what i'm just going to show you guys live how's that i'll show it to you live thursday night that's for sure on my show on vape tv live you can catch me there at 11 o'clock p.m east coast time and i'm going to build you a dual coil on an i hybrid that's for sure Forget about it. I mean, this thing, mm. Ah, this is delicious. But as I mentioned earlier, I was thinking about showing you how to do these dual coils. Um, but it's better if I do it live 
with you guys so we can have ourselves an iHybrid party that's for sure come bring your iHybrids we'll do it together forget it one on one or with everyone in the group that's for sure on Vape TV live this Thursday night 11 o'clock at night okay because again like I said if you have 28 gauge 30 gauge 32 gauge Canthal, um it's the same setup Okay, so we're going to do it on the gauges instead of the ribbons, and then I'll do a video later on as far as how you do it with the ribbons. But, mm. Oh, man. works deliciously that's for sure but I just wanted to show you quickly as far as dual coils on there I mean this thing is a beautiful 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 build I just did today and it's smoking baby forget about it that's for sure and one keep in, one thing to keep in mind very important about safety the batteries that I'm using for this don't use an AWIMR 18650. You better be using one of these. Okay. An Orbitronic. Okay. These are the new NCR high drain PD 2900 batteries. That's what I would use for a build like this. Forget about it. As far as thinking of using a 490 or an 18350, don't. Don't do it. You're going to. This, the sleeve will be so hot. The battery may just go poof inside your device. That's for sure. But this is mainly for them enthusiastic vapors that love dual coils, triple coils, quad coils. You can accomplish it on your iHybrid. Quite simply. Now, another added for safety, uh, what I would actually recommend is using um, one of these. Safety fuse. Okay. You can slap it in on the head of the battery and put it in okay if you're a little bit concerned um, which will be fine but this mm. Mm. I can chain vape with no problems mm. But Thursday night, I'll go over the steps on how to create these. It may seem to be challenging. It's really not challenging. It's very, very, very simple to do um, to achieve this vape. Now, again, like I said, you don't have to do 0.3 ohms. Now, this is three to four wraps, but the coil is doubled. So you're getting about six to eight wraps. I can use, you can use instead of 28, a 30 gauge or even a 32 gauge, okay? wire you can also use ribbon okay which is totally totally up to you um but i'm going to be showing you guys how to do it on the gauge and then i'll do probably a video and i'll put it up on youtube as far as how to do it with the ribbons um but with that i'm going to let you guys go i want to keep this short and simple and sweet live hard and vape hard baby Ow!